where we started and where we're at. Let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you are watching another fabulous episode of Toolbox Topic. I'm joined once again by my co-host, Brandon Van Leuven. Brandon, how the hell are you? Very well. Nice, you having a good week? So far, so good. Yeah, you got yeah. some good plans for the weekend? No. No? Bourbon? <laughs> Bourbon and Netflix? <laughs> I'll take it. You'll take that it. Sounds perfect. So, <laughs> sounds right like an ideal weekend. Nice. Once again, I'd like to remind everybody that we're actually not sponsored by Circle K, but I do enjoy their coffee. <laughs> I've been switching to decaf, though. And the only thing worse than shitty coffee is oh shitty my decaf God. coffee. Why would you do that? Right? It's like being lied to twice, but I still. <laughs> mm. Fool me once, then uh, shame on me. Yep. Yeah, I got no one to blame but myself <laughs> for that type of uh, dereliction. So, all right, guys. Once again, we're at the Trek Bicycle Store West Phoenix in Goodyear, Arizona, where the cool kids hang out and me. And today, we are going to be talking about pedals. And as I mentioned, where we started, basic flats and toe straps, to where we're at now, clipless, hybrid clipless flats, um, and all kinds of good stuff in between. Boy, things have changed since you and I have started Start riding. Better. Oh, absolutely. For the better, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> so let's start out with your basic, and we were not going to even talk about the flats. Everybody's had these flats, whether they are BMX style yeah. pedal from the bike you got from Montgomery Wards or Sears and Christmas yeah. um, to the banana seat bike yep. that had the chrome version of these, the teeth. We're just waiting to rip that skin right off your shins. <laughs> and and even, we'll get to a new version and of that. And even these have been around for a very long <laughs> oh, time. Oh, they have. They, they used have. to be metal, mm -hmm. um, shiny metal with a leather strap, yep. um, which are just kind of cool and, and just beautiful to look at now. But, you know, it kind of evolved to this nylon plastic yeah. with a, a nylon strap on there. Uh, call them the death traps. Yeah, absolutely. So we used to cinch these suckers up so tight so we can get keep the leverage and, you know, mm -hmm. keep a little spin that yeah. uh, when you... Uh, when you took a spill, man, that bike went with you everywhere. <laughs> there was no getting away from it. We didn't Just know ask President Biden, he'll yeah. tell you. No, yeah. I'm joking. Classic. 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 Whoever We've put all, and I, and I joke, I don't want anybody to start blowing up in the comments politically or anything. <laughs> if you've ridden bikes as long as we have, you have got we've, stuck in your pedals. We've all been there. Yeah, we've so all been there. it, it happens. Whoever put that old man in these things? <laughs> it was dumb. God, God, that was dumb. I blame the Secret Service Even on that. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we didn't know any better. Right, we didn't. That's what we did. We did. But we quickly moved on to okay. um, to an integrated, not an integrated, but a clipless style a clipless pedal. Style pedal. Now sure. let's start out with the road pedals because that was where the clipless pedal originally came, and Original, then correct. We started evolving to the the mountain bike pedal. So yep. here we have a standard clipless road pedal, and of course it's Look floppy. Look how nice and to. small it is now. If you remember the old times or something, they were huge. Oh yeah, the times. Absolutely or the look pedals the, the, were yep. mammoth. They were so, huge. And this uses a cleat, okay, that's gonna be on the bottom of your shoe, and any road biker knows, you walk like you're wearing kind of a reverse <laughs> wedge high heel, and uh, that snaps in there, you clip in, and then you go. What's the main advantage of having a clipless pedal? It allows you to put the most energy into the pedal stroke. Okay. So if I'm on flats like these guys, these race face ones, all I can really do is push down. Right. For the most part, some guys are really good at using, you know, a um, an actual cycling flat shoe mm -hmm. with these things, and they get good at finding the grip to pull yeah. up a little bit along the ways. But really, I can get There's the same no amount pull. of energy yeah. as I can in this one. In in these, I can actually pull up right. with a lot of efficiency. And if you get really good. You can almost get probably. I don't call me on this. I always say that. I think about 90% of energy into right. your into your pedal stroke if you're really good at concentrating on your spin. Just like you guys who own a Honda and you put that sticker on your windshield, you're guaranteed an extra 14 horsepower. <laughs> right. Jagoffs. Like everybody, everybody will have a dead spot over the top yes. of your pedal stroke. There's going to be a dead spot where there is no. Um, there's, there's no energy going in there. You're just waiting for your, your leverage to come back down. Right. But these are extremely efficient. Um, they allow you to be more aggressive in the pedals too. If Absolutely. If there's an attack or if you need to really get up a hill, really. you can really throw your body weight into them and that bike becomes a part of you and you yeah, are moving you're, forward. you're moving, but here's the caveat to that. These have adjustable tension on how little or how much you need to, to yep. click out. Yep. 
if these are sloppy, which how I like to keep mine, <laughs> of course. When you get aggressive on it, dude, yeah, you're gonna pop up. right out. You'll come so up. just remember that. I'd hate for someone to get up there and think they were. Uh, what was his name? Andrew Apropov, the sprinter mm -hmm. from the 90s, the Russian sprinter in the tour. Guy was a oh. beast. Yeah, and then your pedal come out, and then you eat shit, and then you're going, those guys on Toolbox Topic. <laughs> so just remember, but yes, you can get completely aggro. Now, you mentioned the time pedals. Time was huge, and time actually started really making race-focused clipless pedals. So we saw them out of magnesium, titanium, really starting to shave the weight off of those pedals. Yeah. And then along came Crank Brothers and gave you the egg beaters. There's nothing to these things. You've got four areas of engagement, one, two, three, four, okay? But for the person who is looking for something ultra lightweight, okay, you're a weight weenie, let's just call it what it is, these are the ones yeah. for you, And for those sure. are the basic ones. These still yeah. have chromoly spindles. You can get them in titanium spindles, yeah. a little bit fancier, definitely lighter. 500 bucks for the ones that are the mm -hmm. most light pedals. But Crank Brothers will also tell you there's a weight limit on these. Okay, and I think it's like 220 pounds or 200 pounds or something. And so just be careful if you're a bigger dude, but you want to cut some weight down and you're mashing on that pedal, you know, Crank Brothers is letting you know that could possibly break. And those have no adjustability on these yeah. guys. They are what they are with the yep. spring tension. Uh, people love these things. They they're do. Weight, they're great for mud shedding. In Arizona, I see them beat up a lot. Yeah. And you lose one of your points of engagement. You bash them, you on, the rocks. them on a rock, mm -hmm. it's gonna bend the inside. Um, so even though we still sell quite a few of these things, I always still like to go with the Shimano ones. They're my favorite. Yeah, They're absolutely. my favorite of all time. Yeah, yeah. And we should mention the lollipop ones. What are they called? Uh, um, speed play. Speed play. Those are great. We just don't have a sample to show you today. We're okay. not a speed play dealer. And you need the special cleat if you're using the speed plays. Right. So um, it's not that it's a bad pedal. Brand is just not a dealer, so we can't show them to you. But if you're interested in an alternative to the Crank Brothers, egg beaters, check out the speed plays. And I'll actually put a link down below for and you guys. And speed play would be more of a road. Yeah, definitely road, more of a road. road setup. So now is, you know, all of a sudden mountain bikers are like, hey, mm -hmm. I want to get on some of that action. Um, Shimano started developing Shimano. clipless pedals for the mountain bike. Shimano was the very first one. And it was the 525. Dude, that thing was a battle tank. It was the... Uh yeah, that square black. I think it was the 747. Was it the 74? Whatever it was, it was yeah, dude. It was huge. It, it was a, a briquette. I a still have mine. Briquette. I still have mine somewhere. But you I remember the day I bought them. Can grind those down to nothing, <laughs> and they would still work. <laughs> they <were>. Ridiculously <laughs> unbreakable as far as that goes. But then evolution came, and now we have really tiny, cutesy wootsy ones. Yep. And then we have these are the Saints, I believe. So you get more of a platform type. Um, and the Saints actually come in another style too that are slightly bigger that have the studs on there. And then from that we have an integrated flat, Hopefully I'll try to zoom in and everything like that, where this is gonna be using an SPD cleat on a flat so you can clip in, but if you happen to miss, you still got- It's a little more forgiving. A little more forgiving, a nice big flat pedal and everything. Um, and that really changed the game for not only you know mountain bikers who are just doing it to, for fun and fitness and everything like that, but for racers, you know the guys that are doing the cross country enduro races and stuff, this this really made a, a difference for them. Yep, when it's super muddy out and you have a hard time getting back in the cleats, this is just going to help guide you in a little bit more. It's going to give you something to push on to yeah. while you're still trying to find to get clipped in. Absolutely, sure. um, and then of course we have our tried and true flats, <laughs> um, a little bit more durable, and I would say. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Efficient um, than what the old ones used to be. Yes, oh, um, I'll give you that. The way they're laid out, you can actually buy these in different sizes depending on your foot size. So you don't necessarily want something too big or too small. Um, because where your studs foot's going to think, and yep. adjustable studs. You can adjust how high they are, yep. uh, or how low they come out, for, depending on how much traction you want. Now, Brandon says replaceable studs. Dude, the ones I have on my bikes are torched. Those bitches ain't coming <laughs> out. I'm buying new pedals. So if you're in Arizona, the replaceable part, not so much. But there's a variety of manufacturers too. These are Race Face, Bontrager yeah. actually uh, makes a set. Uh, Fun makes a set. Yeah. Crank Brothers, Shimano, Everett's they all make a set, them. yeah. And let me add too that if you do, well, if you are not quite ready to clip in like these guys mm -hmm. and you still wanna stick with flats for whatever your reasons are, buy yourself a cool set of shoes to go with it. You would be surprised. So I just, this was a revelation for me. I just bought a pair of 510s. Okay. Um, 
Adidas great ice pens. Yeah, great manufacturer. And I didn't know. I've always I've always clipped in my whole life, but some my cruisers and stuff at home yeah. have flats like this on them. Or I think I have the Bond Traegers. I, I forget. But in combination with a true specific flat for right. mountain biking, they stick. Oh, they and do. They're, they are really fun. They are an eye opener. Yeah. So don't keep riding your same, you know, track, not track, but running shoes with those things. Right. Get the get some good flats to go with them. They are they Absolutely. make a huge, huge difference. And so we're so much fun. Yeah. The 510 is a great manufacturer. I actually use an Oboe's hiking shoe, not a hiking boot, but a hiking shoe. OK. And so it offers me the same thing. Tremendous grip. But because I'm the type of person that I can care less if I'm hiking or biking, <laughs> I'm getting to the top. It's nice because now I have a hiking shoe for you know, those adventures as far as that. A little heavier, but I like the versatility that they offer. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, these come in all colors, uh, d material designs, carbon fiber, titanium, yeah. chromoly, um, magnesium. You could spend as little or as much <laughs> as you want to on these things. And we hear horror stories as far as, you know, the cheaper ones shattering and stuff like that. Guys, I'm here to tell you, I'm a chunky kid and <laughs> I beat the shit out. I mean, and I'm not abusing it, but you know, I ride aggressively and everything like yeah. that. You know, I bashed them off so many rocks and I've never had an issue from entry level, you know, price point pedals to the expensive pedals. Um, they're, they're all gonna hold up and, and do well for you. Just make sure you get one that works for you. We've talked about this before with the cleats, um, right. positioning them correctly, um, a bike fitment, you know, as far as that, it all plays a part. Right. And so if the pedals aren't right for you or you're not, your foot placement, you're gonna notice some discomfort in your foot, possibly in your knees. Especially so you really in want the road to. ones where there's less float yeah. involved before you disengage from the pedal. Um, having the correct cleat fit is, is going to be yeah. good. I would say probably when we set someone up for the first time, we just center them and really probably 90% Nine percent times of, out of 10, yeah, yeah it works. 90% of the time it's just fine for people, yeah. but there is that one person that needs to come in there, they have ankle issues or, or, or knee issues. Coming in, getting a fit for 15 bucks for in like 10 minutes, it's worth it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So, all right guys, there you have it, pedals. Everybody needs them. <laughs> <laughs> Except for those crackheads who like to ride the, you know, the the e-bike without a, a, the pedal assist. It's just a throttle, mm -hmm. or the people oh, with those right. little two-stroke motors on their bikes. Or something. I'm joking, guys. So, <laughs> but they will make a difference on how your bike rides, how it performs, and depending on what you're riding, road, gravel, mountain, bike packing. There's a pedal specifically designed for you and your enjoyment. So on that note, guys, hit the like, subscribe, bell notification icon. Why? It helps out the channel. And we need all the help we can get for coffee, park passes, and gas money. Because mm. shit's expensive these days. Also, there's going to be some additional links down below for Trek Bicycle Store West Phoenix. So if you have any questions about what you've seen today or any of our other videos, follow the link, give them a call. They'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Or you can just comment down below. Social media. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, the devil's work, but it's necessary to get the word out about Get Out Arizona. And we also uh, discuss our trail hikes, trail bikes, rides, um, group rides on our social media. So keep up to date with us and see what we're up to and everything like that. It's a whole lot of fun. Well, it's kind of fun. I want to know about a whole lot of fun. I'm, I might be overselling it at that point. <laughs> the rest of the links are going to be a hodgepodge, my friends, and some of them might be affiliate links. If they are and you follow one of those links and make a qualifying purchase, we will receive a small commission, okay? And it helps out, again, park passes, gas money, and coffee, but you will not be charged any additional monies. And I have to declare that because of YouTube community standards and guidelines, so F that shit. <laughs> so, all right, guys, on that note, what do we always say? Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards on that trail. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out Arizona. Yeah. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Take care, everybody. Brandon, we'll see you next week, buddy. Baby.